Hey everybody, Jake here, and today we're going to take a look at the Twisby Eco T. This is the yellow green version. Um, it's a little bit more yellow than the actual lime green Twisby Eco, and the only difference between the regular Twisby Eco and the Eco T is the triangular grip, cap, and piston knob. So we'll go ahead and take a look at it, go over what I like about the pen, what I'm kind of neutral towards. What I dislike, we'll do a writing sample, and then I'll give you my conclusion on this pen. Here's the Twisby Eco T next to the Pilot Metropolitan, the Lamy Safari, and the Twisby 580 All. So you can see it's a very full-sized pen. Um, a little bit longer than the Safari, a little bit longer than the Metropolitan. Actually, it's a little bit longer than the 580 as well. Um, it's a pretty good size especially in this beginner fountain pen range. Some of them can be a little small. Um, this pen is definitely not one of those. Here's an uncapped size comparison. So you can see again, it's bigger than the, uh, the Metropolitan, about the same length as the Safari and a little bit longer than the 580 all. And here's a posted size comparison. So you can see it's definitely longer than the Metropolitan posted and a little bit longer than the Safari posted. Now this posted length is too long for me. Um, I really consider the Safari to be kind of unwieldy at that length. So this one's definitely a pass for me. But if you like really long posted pens, this might be one to check out. All right, on to what I like about the pen. So first thing, as with almost all the Twisbees I've used, the nib is really, really nice on this. Um, it writes very smoothly, very consistently. I've had no hard starting issues, no skips or anything like that. Um, it's a very reliable nib. The flow is pretty good. It's a little on the dry side, um, which we'll touch on a little later. But the uh, it, the flow is consistent. It's reliable. The pen is nice, and the nib looks you know pretty good. The piston and the capacity of the pen are big selling points at this price range. The pen holds a pretty good amount of ink, very good amount of ink. Um, for the cost and has a very very nice piston mechanism. It's basically the same one you'd find in the regular 580 as far as I can tell. So you have a plastic piston but it's you know it can be disassembled it comes with all the tools that's that's a very good upside as well and it's just it's just a nice mechanism. Twisby's pistons are very smooth very reliable the disassembly on them isn't too difficult and they hold a very very nice amount of ink especially in this this particular body I believe this is a little bit wider than the 580 so it holds a pretty good amount build quality on this is very nice as well so early early Twisbees um, I've never had this issue but some of them had issues cracking and things like that none of the Twisbees I have have done that have done this um, they're very nice build qualities pretty good there's some seams on here which I didn't see on my original eco but not really going to complain about it because they're not very visible and you can't really feel them all that well build quality is very solid um, no issues with the cap cracking or anything like that it has this like nice cap band that helps with that no scratches or anything yet so the material seems to be holding up very very well to day-to-day -day use the size and weight of this are very nice as well um, the grip is interesting, and we'll touch on that a little later, but it sits, you know, so far back on my hand, but just enough to where I, I like it. It's in a very, very good size range for me. The price on this pen is generally the most compelling thing it has going for it. It's about $28. Now, $28 for a piston filling pen before you had your wing songs and stuff was just unheard of. And until Twisby did this, the wing songs really didn't become prominent. Now I've had wing songs, I've caught a lot of flack for that review. I don't care. This pen is just built miles, miles better, and it's definitely worth the price. And if you compare it to more traditional piston filling fountain pens, you know, it's it's very, very competitively priced, and that's Twisby's place in the market really is that competitive pricing, and you definitely get a very, very good value here. 
the packaging with it is nice. Um, just a little plastic clamshell box, not quite as nice as the Twisby 580s or the VAC 700s, but still very good, includes all your tools. It's a plastic wrench instead of metal, which I actually prefer, so you don't scratch up anything, and your silicone grease. So that's all nice that they include all of that with the packaging. On to the stuff I'm more neutral towards regarding this pen. The very, very first thing is the clip. Normally I really like Twisby's clips, but this one's just not not good so you can kind of see here that the cap band ramps up right before you get to the clip and it's you know a little bit lower than the clip still but it's rather it's situated poorly is I, I guess what I'm getting at here um, if you take I'll just take a, a little a card here if you're just sliding this in your pocket it's not going to catch that cap you kind of have to angle it and then go um, now it will work once you get it at that angle but if you're just coming at it straight down it's it's not gonna catch at all it's just not never mind you, you can get it sometimes but it's it's very poorly situated when you compare it to like you know the the Lamy Safari which is always going to get it because it has a massive ramp or even the you know Twisby 580 it sticks out now if you're looking for that kind of slim and sleek design and you don't give a crap about clips maybe this is an upside for you you know um, but I do not like it it's very impractical and I, I'm just not a big fan of the clip design on this particular pen next thing is the section so this is the big selling point of the Eco T the section is a little bit wider and it's nearly impossible for me to display on camera but it is triangular shaped so you can see there's one of the edges there there's the other edge and there's the last one and you can't even really see it front on because of the cylindrical nature of it but it's very similar to this the uh, piston filling knob it's if you if you get one you kind of hold it here you'll you'll see what I'm talking about it's very close um that's not inherently a bad thing but it's it's not really for me um I I just prefer this section on the regular eco but this is my wife's pen so that's up to her but it it's not bad though and in no way is this a bad section I just my preference lies elsewhere. This pin does post. It has a little rubber o-ring right here. If I can get to focus. That helps with that. It does not post very well though. It feels very strange. Um, my original Eco didn't have that, but this one does. And when you do post it, it's it's a really big pin, which I grip my pins very far down towards the uh, towards the nib. If you back off of it a little bit and you grip it here, it's not, you know, it's not ridiculous, but when you're when you're up here, it's looks a little funny. And it's a little strange to use. So it does post, but it posts very shallowly, only to about there. And the posting does not feel very nice. The nib writes reliably. It does, but it writes a little dry. And because of that, it's not my favorite. Also, this is a supposedly a Western medium. It writes a lot more like a Western fine, or maybe more accurately between a uh, Western medium and Western fine. It's it's a little bit narrower than you would think. So if you're wanting, uh, you know, a bit broader of a nib, you might want to end up going with a broad on Twisby's. Um, all of my Twisby's have wrote like this. Now this nib is still very very smooth. It's as smooth as any other medium I've ever used, but just keep that in mind that the line width is going to be just a bit more narrow than you might be used to. And there's really nothing that I dislike about this pen, um, at least at this price range. On to the writing sample. So again this is the Twisby Eco T.
Also, for all you ink matches out there, I'm very sorry for this ink color. I wanted to put Diamond Jade in it, um, but my wife insisted on Noodler's Widowmaker. Let me actually compare this to Jade real quick, because I mentioned I would do that in the uh, This Week in Ink. Got my color ring here. So here is Diamond Jade. And I just think that's 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 very close, and I, I really really wish that she let me put this in there, but you know, I personally don't don't think red and yellow go together very well, but some people do. All right, Twisby Eco T. This is a medium nib. And the ink, as I mentioned, is Noodler's. I almost crossed my D there. Widowmaker. Apologies again for the, the trash handwriting this morning. Um, Again, it's a little bit finer than you would think a uh, medium would be. But it's not bad. The flow is still very nice. Um, let's see if we can get any line variation out of this. I haven't actually tried this yet. So we'll do a normal stroke. A reverse stroke. Very thin, very dry. I would not do that. That was not pleasant. And then uh, want some pressure. So you can get a little line variation out of this. But it's a steel nib. I probably wouldn't push it. But you can if you really, really need to. And the reverse writing is very, very scratchy and very, very dry. But if you needed to like sign your name or something, you might be able to get away with that as well. On to the conclusion. So, where does this pen stand? Um, it is, it's amazing. Definitely buy it. I loved my original Twisby Eco. I had the white one. It was amazing. Loved that pen. I just. Didn't find myself using it, found a friend who was interested, sold it to them. Um, the pen, though, in itself for $28, I can't recommend enough. It's it's just an astounding value, an astounding pen. I really don't know that many people that don't like the, the um, Eco. A lot of people have complained that it looks like a vape, and, you know, to some people, maybe. I don't really see it, but I also don't uh, do that at all. But it's a very, very nice pen. The design might leave some people wanting something different. But I like it a lot. The pen writes very well. And again, I just can't recommend it enough. If you're interested in this pen or the regular Eco line or you want any of the colors, just pick it up. It's Again, it's like $28 to some people. They're out there going, that's insane for a pen. But to most fountain pen people, you're like, oh, that's... You know, that's nothing. That's about the same as a Safari, realistically. So if it were between the two, give you a little spoiler here, I'd, I'd go with Eco and Heartbeat. All right, thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, don't forget to check out my other videos. Right, um, If you are a Patreon subscriber or if you wish to subscribe to Patreon now, for $2 a month, you can go and watch my videos a week early. That includes my top five beginner fountain pen video, which will be posted about the same time this is. But thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to check out my other videos. And if you have any questions about the Eco T or anything related to any Twisbees, feel free to ask me. Thanks guys. Bye.